My name's Mark Sproston, aka The Shave Doctor. The reason I've got the name The Shave Doctor is because working with some of the big brands out there, they nicknamed me The Shave Doctor because I knew so much about men's shaving, men's skincare, uh, and some of the shaving issues that actually come with it. We spent probably four years researching men's shaving issues from shaving rash, razor burn, ingrown hairs. And we even tackle things like impetigo, eczema, psoriasis, and any other uh, shaving or skincare complaint. What we've now done is actually produce a range of shaving products that target uh, and help resolve all those major issues. So we've got five products in the range. Uh, and many developed from the training school, teaching hair and beauty professionals, how to use the cutthroat razor. So we knew if we had a great protective range um, against the harsh elements of the open blade razor, it would also protect against the safety razors that most men would probably end up using at home. We're now in our eighth year uh, with the training school, trained probably around two and a half thousand uh, hair and beauty professionals from the UK, Spain, Italy, Middle East, Far East, is Hong Kong, which has now got a small team, and also a small team in Greece uh, that also um, emulate what um, I do over there throughout the Greek mainland, the Greek islands, to uh, also distributing all our product. We're now looking to um, add further to the range by adding another four products, and also a innovative and uh, very unique uh, raise it to the uh, mass market uh, in October 2014. So it should change the way that men and women shave forever. So what we wanted, and I knew there wasn't enough out there, was a product range that would protect the men's skin from the harsh elements of the razor blade, and especially the cutthroat razor. Yeah. So it's all in good having uh, uh, professional products for the safety razor, but it was about that uh, cut for a razor, yeah, because it's one blade, it's not guarded, and it takes around nine layers of the outer layers, the epidermis. Currently uh, in the product range we have a facial scrub wash, uh, we have a, a shaving gel oil, um, a shave cream, a moisturiser, not moisturiser, and I'll tell you a bit about that in a minute, why. Uh, we also have a, um, an aftershave cordon gel, uh, which um, is one of our, what we call our hero products. Um, coming back to the, uh, the face scrub wash, we have something called a polymer bead in there, uh, which basically scrubs um, all the dirt, grease, and grime out of the skin. Something that every guy should actually have, um, whether they shave every day or not, but scrub every day. Uh, because it does help remove some of the uh, ingrown, trapped ingrown hairs. Um, and most men will tend to struggle with it, especially around this area here. So by using it on a daily basis, even if they don't shave on a daily basis, will certainly reduce the amount of ingrown hairs by 80%. 80%. Our shave gel oil, um, probably the thickest oil, shaving oil in the world, we boast that. It's extremely thick. Um, we've renamed it the gel oil because some men perceive it as a gel. Uh, gels are very um, popular to use uh, at the moment anyway with the, the, the modern men. So we want to ensure that they use the oil by obviously renaming the gel oil. Um, that's great for protecting the skin against the harsh elements of the razor blade. Uh, and more importantly, it just helps soak and soften that stubble hair even more. The shaving cream, um, high in glycerin, uh, can use with the fingers or with a shaving brush. Um, so you get as much out as you would do as if you were lathering your shaving brush out of your fingers. So it's great for men who don't shave with a shaving brush. Uh, and again, it's highly lubricating uh, product. Um, uh, moisturizer, makes me call it moisturizer, um, because we're now trending that men moisturize and women moisturize. Why do we call it that? Well, most men say, I don't moisturize because that's for women. Why should I moisturize? Well, to be fair, when men do shave, they take probably around two or three layers of the outer layers of the epidermis away. And what we're trying to say to these guys is, as you're doing that, you're also taking moisture out of the skin. So you're gonna put the moisture back in. So yes, we probably age better than women do, but eventually it will catch up by not using those products like the moisturizer. 
uh, in the future. And we, what we say is very dry skin becomes very aging skin. So it's always important to put moisture back in after you've had a shave. Our aftershave cooling gel, that's a fantastic product. That's designed for men who struggle with shaving rash, especially around the neck area, what we call the turkey neck, can be very red, very raw looking, very sore if they're wearing a shirt collar. But with the um, aloe vera tea tree, with chainsaw, uh, and a menthol cooling ingredient in it, it will soothe and cool the skin up to 30 minutes after it's applied. Um, and it's a very, very popular product with our younger uh, shavers out there. And that's why me working with the big boys, working with the skin science, that's why they nicknamed, because the reason our shave school was called Shave School. Yeah. And then working with the big boys I had done, they started nicknaming me the Shave Doctor. So I'm also known as the Shave Doctor. Yeah. That's yeah. where it's come from. So it's about understanding men's skin and men's hair. Yeah. What makes it so unique is the fact that um, we have got a shaving professional that sits right behind the brand, which is me. And we obviously we've spent so much time working with our clients, which are students uh, in the professional industry. We know that obviously before we shave a man, we ask around 14 key questions, things like how often do you shave? What do you shave with? Do you suffer any shaving uh, difficulties? And from all those key questions, we've actually then learned what we know works better with men's skin in terms of ingredients. So the, the ingredients work well with men that have thicker skin. Uh, than other men that have uh, different types of skin. So you've got the black skin, which is predominantly 2%, 3% thicker than the Caucasian skin. Men's skin is 20% thicker than female skin. Um, we produce more sebum oil than, than females do. So all these things we've taken into account, mixed with the right ingredients, working with the right chemists, um, and knowing that we've got something called Leptosome and Petisone, which is a blend of a lemon tea tree oil, which has all the antibacterial properties in there, which helps soothe and heal uh, during and after a shave. We also uh, spend a lot of time in educating men on how to use the product. Uh, so there's good tips and direction on the back of each of the, of the tubes. Uh, more importantly, um, we also give them advice on how they should be shaving. So obviously it's, using, it's about using the right products. It's about using the right razors. Uh, for the skin type uh, and not all men have sensitive skin so we realize out there that lots of brands are developing products for sensitive skin most of it is down to sensitized skin because men don't shave enough so we're encouraging more men to shave more often if they want to reduce the amount of shaving uh, difficulty you know, like things like the shaving rash uh, so education plays a huge part in what we do We offer a two-day course, so if you want to do something else after, you want a bit more intense, Kate's got all that details, and we can deliver it either here, or we can deliver it in your, uh, in your salon, yeah. Salon's probably best, because then you can get your models into the salon, yeah, and it does great good marketing buzz. It's about preparation, so for the facial scrub wash, then the hot towel, and we might just do another one, the facial scrub wash, before we actually do the, uh, the shaving. So you should, is that what you're getting your so first thing? Sardines, what are we doing for sardines? I don't want them to be on them, I like sardines. So you, you want to sort of get that level there? Yeah. And then I'll get, I'll get the little bit to take that stuff. So you finish it? Yeah. I like the red. Yeah, it's a colour of that. Yeah. Right here? Not red. You're mm -hmm. gonna feel Chelsea. so much cleaner now. Right. I'm from uh, the Midlands, so it's a bit Oh, Midlands, Birmingham. Yeah. yeah it's well, good. there's there's two teams in Birmingham. Yeah. Um, West Brom. No. Aston Villa. Yeah. But you said you like football. Yeah. No, no. Get out. Yeah, you got did well against the Red Team the other day. The other day. You did. You felt deserved to go about three or four nil first uh, first half. Yeah, but you know, that's what that's what's happening. So this is the facial scrub wash. Yeah. What we've done, we've designed it so you don't need a lot of water either, because lots of washes out there, very lathering. And if you've had one of these done in the spa, men's having the facial, normally take the mittens or hot mitts, and they start to rub around 
this area. So the neck is sore even before you actually got the shape. So it's about getting this product absorbed into the screen quite naturally. Yeah. So this will scrub away all those months and years. Of catching us dinner. This morning's breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> And then it's all over as well, yeah? So just tell them the reason why, because you get some guys, uh, and if I go to York, to the Yorkshireman especially, go, what the bloody hell are you think you're doing that? I'm going to go for a shave, yeah? And you're doing all the forehead and the nose and the arms. So it's all about making sure the skin consistency is exactly the same when they walk out, yeah? So it'll glow down here because nine layers of skin's come off, and there'll be a mat look at the top, and that's what you don't want. Yeah. Mm. Plus the fact, if they're slightly nervous, you just be able to get them relaxed. Yeah. Because some guys are nervous coming in. Well, the ones this afternoon are going to be on. They got to be on. Yes. Yeah. <gasps> you see how that's absorbed into skin already? Yeah, it just looks yeah. dry from yeah. here on the on the hair. Yeah. Right? So what's this called? The stuff you put on face. So that's the face scrub. Exfoliate. Yes, yeah. Men's scrub, women exfoliate. Right. Men's scrub. Yeah, that's on. Terminology is so key. Let's try. Right. This Let me know if this is too hot. That's oh. Sure? Yeah. So, up to nose, over. You're not claustrophobic, are you? No. And then up like that. Make this sure you can nice. breathe. And then tuck underneath <laughs> and down. While that's on, you can then get your cream in so you're actually then ready for Don't need much to shave yourself. That's all you need, yeah. Very little. All the products are highly concentrated. Okay. Then brush in, obviously it's a brand new brush, so we need to soak it completely. And then you'll see just from that swallow out there how much lather we'll produce. Oh, yeah. So you've got to make sure that doesn't go cold. Yeah, because you've done the hard work of opening up the pores. Yeah. Hello Tom. Hello Tom. <laughs> we should have seen done, Tommy. That becomes your wiping towel by the way, so don't chuck your towel away. So that goes over there. Shoulder like that. And then what I'm going to do is just one more little facial scrub wash just to completely soak the bean hair through. Yeah. Yeah. Then you'd be amazed how easy it cuts through. Yeah, that's done, me. <laughs> right, so now I'm going to put the shaving oil on. And again. On top of that, yeah. Yeah. So it's all palm, uh, palm size for yeah. So this will add a nice glide to the razor. And it's softening this hair every single step now. So it's fairly coarse, very wiry. <coughs> this is the pure oil now. Now I'm going to lather up. So you want the side bits about there? No, well, 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 well. You just kind of do it, don't you? It's sort of natural hair, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just whatever you want. Just say that one. Should do. Give skin as well. So, what we'll do is almost like. So you put foam over the oil, yeah? So, we've got the cream. Not foam. Yeah, cream over the oil, yeah? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's terminizing the pool. You, sc you scrub, don't you? Then so you scrub first, hot cream, towel. Then your oil. Then the oil, then the cream. Now, the barbs across the world, we get their brush and do like that. And they get that finger and they draw it off. You just it's not good etiquette, is it? You don't know where their fingers been for a start. So what we do is we create the fan. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you actually press the brush down and over the top lip like that now. Yeah. So he's not eating it, not sniffing it. And then we get the brush and then we just... Have you seen how the hair lifting off the neck? Yeah. Still using the fan technique, is it? Yeah. So, that's what we want to do. We want to get that hair off the off the skin, and then we use the Tonde Comfort Cut. Yeah, so you actually slide your razor in and lift out. Yeah. So, so lift up because we're shaving down. Yeah. And then we wipe the side like that. Sam's 
And that's the sound you should be listening for. Oh, yeah, when a guy said this over the home, you hear that, shh, shh, shh. That's exactly what you're looking for. So again, just using the front, lifting. I feel the edge of that. No, not so, you just relax. Nice blade, so you just undo that. So what we do, we come across the top of the chin first. Yeah. I'll show you what we call the scoop. Mm -hmm. So we come across the top. That's what I'll be scared of doing. And what we do now is that we come behind. Kind of sounds like move the leg like that. No, because we get some of our clients not off in the chair. So the last thing you want to do is actually be waking them up yeah. and spoiling that, that experience. Yeah, so our training school was born in January 2007. Um, how we got to that uh, was the fact that we had a male brooming store in line. And we, rather than wait for the order to drop on a lap, we decided to take the business out to the consumer. So we went to various health, hair and beauty shows and it was a spa show back in 2006 that changed the whole direction of the business uh, altogether. And we, we, we went with their barber's chair, we went with a salon bed and we were shaving visitors on the stand. So we were actually a, a, a sort of a show draw if you like. So. I can remember the day it happened and uh, uh, we'd had the doors opening and then we had various um, men come running to the stand wanting a shave by us. Um, and at the end of it, we knew we'd sell product, which is great. At the time, we were using about, I think, 30 different brands. Um, and then we were sort of retailing, advising which product would suit their skin type at the very end. It was a trade day we had uh, on the Sunday that changed everything again because we had lots of people saying to us from the salon or the spa industry, we want to do what you're doing. We want our ta uh, staff to be taught, but how do we teach them? We don't want to send them to college. It's an MVQ, whether it's a two or three in barbering, but these are beauty therapists. So can you teach them? So of course we didn't, th didn't think about it. So I did some research. Uh, and then um, we set the training school in January 2007 and we have not stopped since. In our eighth year, uh, and uh, we've trained two and a half thousand um, uh, individuals um, from, a, uh, from Scotland down to uh, the south of England, Wales, the Channel Islands, uh, Spain, Italy, um, Hong Kong, Greece, uh, Belgium, we've trained absolutely everywhere. So um, we're becoming globally known uh, for what um, for what I do, uh, for my expertise. Uh, and the training school is only going to go from strength to strength. So this year we're looking at par uh, third parties now to deliver it on our behalf, because I can't be here, there and everywhere. So we're looking at colleges, we're looking at private academies, um, and they will be our satellite trainers, if you like, across the uh, across the UK. Future plans, it's very exciting. So we've got, um, I think, four new products entering the marketplace, um, probably from October this year. Uh, we've also got a razor that we're very excited about, which will be so different to no other razor seen before in the marketplace. Can't talk too much about that in the moment, uh, but it will be available in October. Uh, it will change the way that um, a lot of men, and we will shave for a long time, uh, in terms of um, uh, uh, whether they can get um, uh, an early shave out of it, they can get a quick shave out of it, 
Um, but we know that it will certainly uh, play a huge part in whether Shave Doctor becomes here or it goes on to the next level, maybe in the next couple of years. So you can get more of our information about the website, uh, about the company, about me, um, where we're, we're at, what we're doing this year. We hold lots of events as well, which is um, uh, very helpful. So any events that we, we obviously may be at, you more than want to come along, have a shave in the chair, uh, experience the show, experience the products, and you'll know that obviously the products do work. Um, you can get us on Facebook, you can get us on Twitter. Uh, the website is www.shavedoctor.co.uk.